Here yeah. goes. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. Well, hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Meet the Minister Monday. Mm. And who is our minister today? But is the awesome Leslie Everhart. All right. So today we're going to be talking about kids' praise and the incredible children's choirs that we have going on on Wednesday nights. And we look forward to you being back with them in February. So that's why we want to do this, to get those kids excited yes. to see Miss Leslie and get ready for the spring program. So, Miss Leslie, anything you'd like to say to the kids? We'll be so excited to have you guys back, uh, trying to give everybody, our teachers, a little bit of a break. That's right. That's right. But, uh, but y'all did so awesome at Christmas. People are still talking about it and cannot wait. So excited about getting ready for this spring. We've got some great music coming up, some great moves, and some extra added stuff. So just super pumped and excited about worshiping Jesus. That's right. And I think a lot of people at Congregation like watching this Leslie moving as well as she's leading and directing the kids, whether it's the orchestra or the choir that you're directing or the kids during Christmas or during the uh, spring program as well. So I think that a lot of people like watching you as well because you are animated and you do an incredible job. So we are always excited to have you a part of Kids Praise and involved in Children's Choir. So thank you so much for what you do. So Miss Leslie, woo! Thank you. Yeah, that's right, that's thank right. You. So we have a couple questions just to ask right. you so that, you know, again, the point of this is we want the kids to meet these ministers all a part of this church here in the children's ministry. So if they ever see them down the hall or at church, which of course they see you all the time and they love you, but maybe there's some things they don't know about you. So just to have them meet Miss Leslie a little bit more. So we're gonna add into it. Meet the minister more. But anyway, so a couple questions for you, but wanted to start with, since again, the kids know you really well now, but maybe there's three things that they don't know about Miss Leslie. Maybe uh, something special talent or something they don't know about. So what would be three things that the kids might not know about Miss Leslie? Okay, I, I thought about that last night. I was thinking, what are three things that are crazy Ooh. that would be just a little bit different that you may or may not know about me? Okay, so one thing, a lot of you saw like a helicopter parked out in the parking lot at Christmas. Mm -hmm. Well, my brother owns and flies a helicopter. So it's so fun. I get to go flying with him <laughs> and I just lost my microphone or something, Phil. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I get to go flying with him. So he actually flies my mom down here to see you guys do your program. So that's oh, one thing. Wow. So my brother owns and flies a helicopter. Sweet. So if we ever do a VBS helicopter theme, we got a contact. You've got a contact. Sweet. He, he actually does like the egg drops and everything. Oh, so yes, right, right. that's I'm getting, good to I'm know. Getting, I'm getting a signal from Emily. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so that's good to know. All right, there's one. That's one. Okay. Right. When Emily and a lot of you know Emily because she helps us out in kids praise also. When Emily was really little, uh, my mom and dad had a place up in Gatlinburg in the mountains. And so one thing my, we love to do is just to go walking around the roads and stuff. Sure. Oh yeah. And yeah. so this one time when Emily was still in the the baby carriage yes, uh, a bear chased us so we have been chased by a bear oh, wow. so we had to pick up and run and get ready to sling the it's, little baby cart it's similar stroller. like that story of elijah or elijah you know when the yeah. bear attacked the kids and everything yeah they made fun of them and everything i mean that didn't happen but yeah gatlinburg's an awesome place love going to gatlinburg and, and y'all are from tennessee obviously yes, yes, yes. i was born in tennessee yes. obviously that's right Woo. volunteers yes, go Woo. Boss. that's right we like everybody else too but go boss. We, so all right so helicopter brother and Emily was chased by a bear. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we were chased by a bear. <laughs> All right, so what's number three? Number three, okay, when I was in college, I, I stayed with a group that traveled around okay. the world a good bit, which was a lot of fun and just a neat blessing, but I got to pet a live kangaroo in the wild in Australia. In the wild, in the wild. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, very cool. How many of you kids have very petted a kangaroo before? Now, Miss Ms. Leslie have. Now, did the kangaroo ever like hop up on its like tail like it was about to pounce or No, because I would have been scared to death if yes, it had done that. that. But no, 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 no. That's what I always see when you see those videos of the kangaroos. If you ever see them start to sit on their tail, you better run because yes. they're about to strike and everything. These were very calm. Well, that is awesome. Yes. So, all right. So, tell Miss Leslie next time you see him, I want to ride a helicopter. I do not want to be chased by bears when I go with you to Gatlinburg. And the, oh, the kangaroo. And the kangaroo. So, and then you can say, Miss Leslie, why don't you show us the picture of you petting a kangaroo last summer during BBS during In the Wild? Oh, that would have been good. That I didn't would even have think been good. about that. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that so, would have been awesome. Sorry, I forgot the third one. And I actually one even have one, so that's really bad that I didn't <laughs> no, think about that's it. That's right. I'm sure we can bring it back. We yeah. can always bring it yeah. back. All right. So make sure you talk to her about those things because those are three incredible things to get to know about Miss Leslie right there. Well, again, like we said, Miss Leslie, she helps direct our children's choirs and kids' praise. 
So along with that, I want you to kind of share with the kids, what can they look forward to, especially if there's kids out there who aren't a part of Kids Praise, who maybe don't come on Wednesday nights here at GVC. What can you share with them to get them excited about Kids Praise this year and what you got planned for them this spring and this semester? Well, we're so excited just, just to get to come together as the body of Christ. So uh, we'll do our scriptures like we normally do because the Lord tells us to hide His Word in our hearts right. that we might not sin against Him. And that is the only offensive weapon that we have in the full armor of God is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So we're just going to hide that Word in our hearts. We're going to carry that sword and we're going to be able to go forward in Christ and do what He's called us to do. We've got a ton of new... Uh, current uh, worship songs that we're going to be working on. It's yes, got sir. great videos behind it, great beats, uh, great words, edifying Christ. And we're just going to have a great time exalting Jesus because he tells us if we exalt him, if we lift him up, then he will draw all men, women, boys and girls unto him. So we want people to be saved. We want people to know yes, Jesus is their savior. That's that's the best thing. And, and people get so excited about seeing you guys oh, being yeah. excited. So I'm just, I'm in prayer for you already. I thank you for praying for me and my family. And uh, we just cannot wait to get together and just worship. Jesus and uh, man, may he just fill this place. May he fill your home. May he fill your school. May he fill everywhere you are. May his spirit just fill every every little inch, every nook and cranny of your life. And may we just glorify him and uh, have fun using our our energy That's for right. his glory, our great zeal. Um, I can't stand still. So prayerfully you can't stand still either. And we'll enjoy not standing still together this That's spring. Right. So it'll be awesome. That's right. It is going to be awesome. We look forward to y'all performing. I think it's in May. It is. They will perform. So we look forward to that. I know like Miss Leslie said, the congregation is so excited to get to watch y'all perform the preschool and the children. So we're excited about what you have planned for them. We look forward to that. And I know sometimes you ask me to come up there and pray and stuff like that. So, uh, just don't count me on that. You know, no. I, 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 they don't want me up there. They're tired of my face or anything like that. But uh, no, we look forward to what y'all are going to do. Uh, I think it was I Am was y'all's shirts last yes, year and yes. everything. So I'm sure they've got a cool shirt lined up for y'all. Yes, to get we'll have a cool thing this year. Moving and grooving, yes. like she said. So yes. we look forward to those, you sound, said more current, but a little more upbeat songs that they're going to be doing yes. this year. So, hey, if you're not a part of Kids Praise, come check it out. As Miss Leslie said, it's more than just singing. It's yes. coming to learn God's that's Word right. and be ready to defend our faith in Him, but also come to know Him as His Lord and Savior, and that's what Kids Praise is all about. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got one more question from Miss Leslie. As we know, she loves to sing, she loves to lead choir, all that sort of stuff, but maybe there's something we don't know. Out of all these songs that she knows and sings and leads and all that stuff, I mean, you've got to have like a favorite go-to song. So Miss Leslie, do you have a favorite song? That was a hard question. Oh, I'm sure because, it is. I'm sure it is. Oh my goodness. I love so many different styles and so many different songs as long as they're, again, just glorifying Jesus and lifting up the Lord. And, and uh, but as I say that, it's pretty funny because I think if I look back over all the years, and, and I'm pretty old now, but uh, if I look back over all the years, probably my all time favorite and the one that I've probably done the very most yes, and still feel like I could pull it out today and <laughs> yeah, it still right. be current that's is right. uh, Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, yeah. So I, I yeah. love that one. That's probably like one of that. my all-time favorite ones. I mean, no, we so. can probably dub it in. We can do it right now. Yeah, you, you yeah. sing it. I'll do the motion. Let's <laughs> do the motion. Lord, I lift your name on high. There we go. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Here yeah. it goes. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. That's it. Yeah. I love it. That's awesome. I love that song too. Yeah. You know, there's always those classics you always bring, like we talked about Father yeah. Abraham and everything. So, most that definitely. Is yes, ma'am. Well, all right. Lord, I lift your name on high. Kids, if you want to do it or maybe sneak it in on Kids Praise, don't bother her too much now when she's up here directoring, <laughs> but maybe, hey, Miss Leslie, what about Lord? Your name on high. Yeah, that'd be Anyways, awesome. Yes, ma'am. Well, all right, we learned three incredible things about Miss Leslie. We also learned about what we look forward to here at Kids Praise with you and your staff and with your volunteers. We, we thank you so much. Oh, for all most this. definitely. For most our team, definitely. For our volunteers that are part of Kids Praise that also make this happen. And then again, you've learned a new song. So, boys and girls, hey, if you don't know Lord and Give the Name on High, check it out, look it up, and start to learn it and study the motions and everything. It's a great, great song. Well, uh, I think we uh, have a game plan for you and your staff that we're going to play. It's called uh, Musical musical Duel. Oh, my goodness. So, so, so you and your staff is going to challenge the curriculum staff. I don't mean to say challenge, but play a fun game between your staff and the curriculum staff 
in a game similar to Family Feud, but we're calling it Musical Duel. So is it right if your staff challenges or, again, competes against whatever the kind word would be here, but play a fun game uh, between your staff and the Crickham staff? Would that be all right? Most definitely, and I know right. you guys will do great. No, 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 you guys <laughs> will do great too. Well, boys and girls, before we get to the game again, we thank you, Miss Leslie, so much for what she does, how the Lord is upon her, and she leads you kids to come to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior through worship, but also through the Word and through Him because we give him the glory and the praise. So thank Man. you again, Miss Leslie. Look forward yeah. to playing this game with you and look forward to kids praising with you and seeing the spring show, all right? Amen. Kids, stick around, check it out. It's going to be Musical Duel. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to Musical Duel. All right, and we are going to have us a duel right here between the Kids Praise staff Woo. and the curriculum staff. Woo. We're going to play a little game. There's three categories. We'll play a name that tune. If they get it right, then they get to choose if they want to play or pass. And then you'll have to answer three questions or provide three answers to that category. If you're not able to get it right, two strikes, the other team can steal. We're going to play less two out of three. All right? Are y'all ready to play? Let's All right, we'll get yeah. Miss Leslie and... Who's going? Angela. 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 All right. <laughs> Your back. All right. oh, sorry, you got to draw, draw a category out of 10. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. well, there you go. That show you? You can, you can look at it. It's the little box. Oh, it's okay? All right. 80s oh, pop. <laughs> All right. So, Miss Amy, that's the first you. song, okay? So, when you think you know this song, ring in and tell us the answer. Here we go. Team, y'all want to play or pass? 
Worship music. We're passing. All right, they're going to pass. All right, they're going to pass. We did so right. good on this. All right, now, for this question, there are only three answers. I'm looking for the top three answers on this one. So, according to the Billboard charts, who were the top three Christian artists of 2019? According to the Billboard charts, who was the top three artists in 2019? Miss Kristen. Lauren Daigle. Yes. Um, Lauren Daigle. That is correct. Woo! Lauren Daigle. That is actually number one. Oh, good Lauren job. Yes. All right. So Miss Leslie, you also have two strikes. Who were the other two artists who were top three according to the Billboard charts in 2019? Chris Tomlin. Chris Tomlin is incorrect. I'm sorry, that's an X. A great answer, though. Great answer, but that is an X. So, be ready to steal over here. All right, all right. Only one more strike. All right, Miss Brenda. <laughs> Who would be one of the other two top artists of 2019? I'm gonna say Zach Williams. Zach Williams is another great answer, but that is another X. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. Curriculum team, you have a chance to steal. Who would be one of the other two top three artists of 2019? These are single people. Right. I hope they're ready. ready. All right, Craig right. <laughs> right. and Team, what is your answer for the steal? Toby Mac. Toby Mac is brand new. That's another answer. Oh! Oh! Team is the winner. Woo! Right. Right. So, one one, the other two answers were number two was for King and Country. Oh, yeah, oh, my mom. Right. Right. And number three was Kanye West. Oh, yes. He just started. He did. He just started. <laughs> That's correct. All right. So we're down to our third and final round. It is one to one. So the winner of this round is the winner of the competition of musical duel. So Miss Brenda, Miss Ann, come on up. Right. We are tied. So there's only one category left. So this is kids' praise. Is the category for this oh, one? No, that's it's, totally it's not praise. Oh my goodness! That's totally. Yes. Yes. We are so excited for you guys. All right, one hand behind your back. See if you can name that tune. Yes, ma'am. That is correct. Oh.
what it's all about. So again, kids, if you're not a part of our Wednesday night kids praise, we hope you can be a part of it. It's an awesome time. All of these ladies are a part of this. They help set up and prepare with the incredible work that God does. And just loves me to be excited to see y'all right here in the choir suite. That's where we're at right now. We're right here in the choir suite. Meet on Wednesday night. So, Miss Leslie, anything else for the boys and girls? We would love for you to be here because it's quite evident that we do not know the titles of songs. <laughs> so we need your help. So let's load this room up. Teach me as I join you. It's going to be awesome in Jesus. That's right. It is going to be awesome. We love praising Jesus. We love sharing Jesus with each of y'all. So make sure you check out our next YouTube page. And let's give, let's give the Kids Praise team a round of applause. Thank y'all so much. The winners of